So you downloaded a bunch of LUTs to help you with color grading and color correcting. But you realize that once you've applied the LUTs in Shotcut, you found that the colors may have been too strong and you couldn't find a way to tone the intensity down. In this tutorial, I will show you how to control the intensity of your LUTs. So stay tuned. I'm just a normal person with no video editing background who wanted to start making YouTube videos and maybe cool transitions and effects. I don't really plan on being a professional video editor, so I was looking for a free, easy to learn video editing software. Luckily, I stumbled on Shotcut, a free open source video editing program that can do many of the tricks you can do on more enterprise video editors like Adobe Premiere or DaVinci Resolve, but with a much simpler and leaner interface, thus dramatically shortening the learning curve. It just takes using your imagination. So let's learn together. Before we get started, this tutorial is done on Shotcut version 21.03.21. Okay, so let's first look at the traditional way of applying a LUT to a video in Shotcut. So I'm just gonna drag this video here on my timeline. Just play it for a sec here. Okay, so that's a video. And what we can do is we can immediately go to filters. And if I wanted to change the colors of this using a LUT, I'm gonna go to the plus icon. I'm gonna type in LUT, load the LUT. And then under open, I'm going to choose one of the LUTs in my LUT library. Let's just pick, let's say, McKinnon. And then all of a sudden, it changed the color. It applied the LUT. And so this was the original video. And this is the new one with the LUT applied. The one thing, though, that you're going to notice is that what if the intensity of this LUT was too much, like the colors were too strong, or you only wanted half intensity. If you notice, in the LUT box here, there really isn't any other setting. You couldn't, you couldn't change the intensity of the LUT. And so for a long while, I thought there really wasn't a way for you to to modify a LUT within Shotcut. Not until I talked to the creator of Shotcut himself, who taught me that there is a way, but it is somewhat of a workaround. And I'm gonna show you what he showed me. So first and foremost, we're gonna dump the original LUT. And we're gonna apply what the creator of Shotcut told me to be able to control the intensity of a LUT. So again, we're starting with the original video, but instead of loading the LUT filter, what we need to load first is mask simple shape. And in those settings, what we need to focus on are the width and the height. And we need to bring the width all the way to 100%, and we need to bring the height also to 100%. And we're done with that filter. The next filter we need to load is the opacity filter. To click opacity. And at this point, we're not gonna do anything to the opacity filter. We're just gonna leave it at that. The third filter, again, we're gonna click the plus icon is finally the LUT filter. And again, we're gonna choose, like let's say bourbon, right? And last but not least, a fourth filter. And this one is mask apply. Now I know that's a lot of filters to load just to be able to control the LUT, but just bear with me here. Okay, so once again, we've loaded four filters in our filter box. And I'm gonna to toggle the LUT on and off so that you see what it looks like with or without it. Okay, so now we've applied the LUT. 
and here's how you control the intensity. You actually go back to the opacity filter that we loaded that we didn't touch in the beginning and now we can use the opacity setting see how I'm moving it back and forth and it's changing the intensity of the LUT that's how you control the LUT now this LUT is actually a little subtle so I'm going to load another LUT um, let's see if Arabica makes a difference here okay so Arabica is a little bit more intense and so say you loaded this LUT and you're thinking oh man it just muddied up my video um, and it just it just doesn't look good and so now we can go to the opacity filter right above it and drop it down a little bit and only apply 50% and now it looks a little bit more normal or we can drop it down to as low as you want or as high as you want see that so that's a little hack that the creator of Shotcut taught me to be able to control the LUT. So now you can just download all the LUTs you want from all these LUT creators um, and then you have the capability of now controlling the opacity knowing that a lot of times LUTs that have been created specifically for Adobe Premiere or DaVinci Resolve were purposely done with more intense colors because in those programs you actually have the capability of dialing it down. Now you can download those types of LUTs, stick it in Shotcut, and even though they're super intense in color, you can now dial it down and apply it to your videos. And so now your, your potential library of LUTs has just expanded. Speaking of LUTs, if you've followed me for a while, you know that I've also created my own set of LUTs that I'm giving away for free. Now, all you have to do if you haven't been able to download my LUTs yet, all you have to do is first and foremost, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and third, write a comment in the comment section below saying, I want your LUTs. And that's it. The minute I see that in the comments, I'm going to reach out to you. I'm going to ask for your email address so that I can send the LUTs to that email. And that's it. In any case, I hope you enjoyed this new tutorial. And if you have any other tutorial suggestions, also make a comment below. So with that being said, I'll see you next time.